Facebook Live. We have arrived one more time. Let's get ready to get it in. Um, yeah. Conference muted. Conference recording started. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Yahuda Israel, also known as Pastor Derek Mann, on the early what I say the scripture study and prayer line on this 28th day in June 2019. Uh, Rita Jones, to the top of the morning time to you. My big brother, Jeff Brown, in the building. One more time. Occult Don Deans. Shalom. Greetings. Greetings, Miss McCaw. Shalom, Jeff. Uh, let's get ready to get it in. Y'all, let's go out of 1 Peter 4 again. Kepha. First Kepha. Excuse me. <clears throat> A four and um, twelve. Look what it said. It said, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trials, which is to try you, as though some strange things happen unto you. But rejoice inasmuch as you are partakers of the Mashiach suffering, that when his glory shall be revealed, you may be glad with exceeding joy. See, as the Most High continue to uh, lead me towards, you know, exposing uh, Shalom, uh, Donna Foster. But um, <clears throat> see. Rationale of the carnal mind is the enemy to Yah. The rationale of the of the of the carnal mind. You know how the carnal mind will say, um let me, let me try to give you an example. You know how the carnal mind is is that is exactly like this, right? Like um I'm the type of person is how the carnal mind think. I'm this type of person. This is what I tolerate and this is what I don't tolerate. Those are signs of being carnal. Um, the carnal mind is the carrier of generational curses. And generational curses are attributes that's handed down a bloodline based on carnal similarities. There is a death to carnal positions, quick-tempered or quick-to-fight, being a, a, a lover, a player, um, I don't play that. All those positions are forfeited when you're born again. With the old position, who you used to be, it's rationale associated with that. It's just not arbitrary, it's, it's rationale. 
it's methodologies to how you respond, how you feel, what what you won't tolerate. Sit down with somebody, they'll tell you why they don't tolerate certain things. It could it could stem back all the way to their childhood. It can go uh, past their childhood into their genealogy, their blood pool. I don't play this because of this. You can't talk to me like that because of that. I'm not the one that tolerates this. I'm a lover. Um, when the when the word is offering from Kepha, right? He's offering blood, thinking not strange concerning the fiery tribes, which is to try you. Um, there there will be strange things according to who you used to be. It would be strange to who you used to be. It would be strange to other carnal people. You'll hear other carnal people around you say, I wouldn't take that. That's what carnal people will say around you. And if you carnal, you're going to agree. That ain't like you to allow, to allow anybody to do that to you. That's the carnality. The, the world love they own. So you have these carnal earth. It has nothing to do with being born again. It has nothing to do with the kingdom of Yah. It has nothing to do with being saved. It has everything to do with the fallen, judged, condemned state of humanity, of man. You stupid. I move you tripping. What done happened to you? Yeah, I forbid you holler, I know, huh? I ain't I ain't mm, mm The different states of mind. You got a worldly condemned state of being that's pre Bessere, that's pre gospel, that's pre born again, that's pre being rejuvenated, that's pre reconciliation. Because when the reconciliation was offered, it was offered in the form of death, burial, and resurrection, a new way of living, being led by a new spirit other than your condemned fallen spirit, anti yah spirit. Pre Bessere gospel, you live by you know you know you know what you see, what you smell, you know what, what it tastes like, what, what 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 you hear, how you feel. Post is you led by his ruah, by his spirit. So when strange things happen on you, strange to who the carnal, carnal people. People that don't play that. Stingy people. The, the world is into self-preservation. Seeking to save their life. Even if it costs you your life. Forget you. Forget them. It's all about me and mine. Family first. Evil nature. The unsavable nature of man. That's why you got to die. The unsavable nature of man. That's why Yah said you got to die in order for me to save you. You, 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 you got to mortify, which means to kill the deeds of the flesh. Your old nature, you got to kill it. Because you was baptized into his death. You, you, you were done away with. So to bring to Yah's table... To sit at Yah's table and bring your carnality, it, it, it's an oxymoron. It don't work. Can't bring, bring your bedroom activities to Yah's table. You got to kill it. If you keep it, you're going to die. You seek to save your life, you're going to lose it. Look, the divorcing of that state of mind, now you can understand this. Think it not strange concerning the fiery trials, which is to try you. Try you means to test you. 
some things that would happen to you, your carnal nature would think it's strange because, what, it's going to be out of pocket. It's not going to be cool. It's not going to be fair. It's not going to be right. It's going to be disrespectful. It's going to go against your uh, evil nature. In order for a uh, um, person to be a good spouse, it can't be based on carnal circumstances. It would have to be based on Yah, based on obeying and being led by the spirit of Yah, period. In order to be a friend, in, in order to be a, 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 a fellow laborer in the kingdom of Yah, it's, it's all about self-denial, denying of the flesh, and be led by the Ruach. If, if you're led of uh, 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 the flesh, you're going to die. But if you, through the Ruah, mortify, kill the deeds of the flesh, you're going to live. So think it not strange concerning the fiery trial. If it's still strange to you, it's because you're looking at it from a carnal perspective. Pretty strange to feed people and take care of them, and then they holler and crucify him. If he's carnal, he would look at that like, man, I don't play that. How dare you come at me like that? Man, that's so good. Man, y'all yeah, kill them all. I, 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 I can dispatch a, a legion of angels right now, wipe out, wipe, wipe all you jokers out. Two angels come down to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah and the surrounding cities. If he did a legion of angels, oh, it's all bad. But he didn't think it's strange. He knew he came in the volume of the book to do Yah's will. So he wasn't shocked when he got cussed out and disrespected, stabbed in the back by somebody he was helping. That wasn't strange to him. That's spiritual warfare. That comes along with being saved. Opposition. When you corner, well, I never. You too good to be disrespected. You too good to. That's beneath you. Blood, think it's not strange concerning what? Hot trials. Hot. Hot trials. Folks trying to want, want to rub you, want to love on you, and you, and you lonely. Hot trials, say no. Just that simple. Say no. And think it not strange that the test came. That now they're offering you free dope. They used to make you pay for it. Now that you got a call on your life, now you've been called out of the darkness into the martyr's life, now they're offering you dope for free. She wouldn't pay you the time. She wouldn't give you the time of day. But now, all of a sudden, you hot. You the next day. You the come on. You super handsome now. Think it not strange concerning the fiery trials, the disrespect. Think it not strange if you saved. If you not saved, if you carnal, just hanging around. Oh, you think it's strange? You don't play that. You, you ain't treat me like, you, yeah, that's going to be you. If we learn to listen to ourselves, if, if we mess around and become spiritual and then we listen to ourselves or and we examine how we think, it's a blessing if Yah allows you to see you and your position and how you move. There's a mind renewal process necessary to be saved. There's a mind renewal process that comes along with being saved. There's a whole new attitude, a whole new way of, 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 of thinking, talking. The talking comes from your thinking, but you just have a whole nother perspective. You're in love with Yah and you live for him, period. And when, when things come at you because you live for him and you're meditating his word day and night, when things happen, you understand what's going on. Because you're walking in the spirit realm. Though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. 
because the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. You're walking in the spirit and you know what it is and you know it's a test. It's, it's for people don't run around here honoring him with their mouth. Praising him with their lips, but their lifestyle, their heart is far from him. The tests will come to prove you. you, you you're going to be tried, baptized with fire. You're going to be tested. Say what you want to say. Ain't There's nobody going in that's not tested. Say what you talk all that religious stuff all you want. <laughs> but you're going to be tested. You, you are going to be tested. <laughs> Don't give because you can't afford it. but will spend money to chase your lover. Thought you couldn't afford it. You couldn't afford it for y'all. Wouldn't stop messing with them for y'all, but stop messing with them when they cross you. All those is telltale signs. Won't go across country for ya, but will go across country for a relationship. All those is telltale so you at least can see where you're at. And all these things come out. These are like proofs. Look, fiery trials come for a purpose. And the purpose is to test you. And the test, the results of the test are measurable. If you, if you mean to be saved, you can kick back and look at yourself and see the stuff you say versus the stuff you do for or against the most high. Now, if you're looking, if you're weighing out the stuff you do, how broke we be and how we ain't got time and all, all the excuses we have not to do for Yah, but then all you got to do is look at the distribution of your time and your money. Limited resources, but you use those limited resources for what's important to you. And all you, you can weigh that stuff. And, 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 and the, the, the test paper should be your memory. The test, when you get the test back, you get to look at, examine yourself. That's why the word say examine yourself. You got exact. You got to look at what you do with what you have, versus what you do with what you have for y'all. And all this stuff comes as a test, and the tests get hot, fiery. As though some strange things happen on you, that again is is for the lack of a better term, it's like sarcasm, as if. Something out of the ordinary is happening to you and no one else. No, it happens to everybody. Everyone goes through fiery trials. You're not the only one. Now, what we got to do is pass the test. We got to walk in the proper level of self-denial in order to be saved or you don't belong to them. You want to prove it. That's what the word said. Prove. Prove. The Yahushua is in you. 2 Corinthians, the 13th chapter. Say, prove it. Romans 12 say, prove it so other people can see. And 2 Corinthians 13 say, prove it to yourself. So th this is some proof stuff going on. And the fiery trials is to test you, to show you you. Deuteronomy 8. He led them through the wilderness to prove whether they would obey him or not. Prove it. He already knew they would if they wouldn't. But it's going to be established through proof in the heavenly records. So those that make it, earned it. And those that didn't, earned that too. Proof. He'd already classified the verbal. Draw an honor me with their mouth, honor me with their lips. He already classified the verbal relationship. He got plenty of verbal people running around here. How much they love him, how much they belong to him. But the word teaches you shall know every tree by the fruit it bear. Period. Proof text. 
You should know every person by what they do. Say what you want to say. Say what you want to say. Say how much you love them. Why are you, why are you going against him? Say how much you love him while you're obeying him. One uh, uh, lifestyle is qualified and the other is disqualified. As the truth of the word, disqualified, disqualified, disqual, disqualifiable life. Then what? Stay religious minded or understand that there's a certain lifestyle that the word describes as disqualified. So the verbal piece, you lied. That's when uh, Matthew, Yahoo, y'all, Matthew 721, when people start going through their religious resume of what they did for him, then he's going to break the news to them. You ain't even saved. I don't know you. But love causes the word to come to you now while you still have time to get it right. Ain't nothing strange happening. Some of it be whooping. But when you belong to Yah, all of it is applicable to bring forth the peaceable fruits of righteousness to them that are exercised thereby. When you get your test back that you flunked and that you all mouth and no action when it comes to Yah. So you can change. So you can repent. Um, a plum, unyali person has a better chance, it appears, to be saved than someone that's religious because someone that's completely unyali knows they're scandalous and unyali. Religious people have a form of yaliness so they will reject the true relationship for a religious relationship because the true relationship causes them to have to suffer and thinking not strange concerning the fiery trial. When something crazy happened to you, Instead of going off and talking about I'm not the one and, and I ain't never been like that and what you don't tolerate and what you don't take. You just don't know. You're telling on yourself that you're completely carnal. Folks have no idea. Dealing with religious carnal people is a trip. And they don't know that everything they say tells on them. Period. They don't. Even, but they don't know it. They have no idea because the carnal mind don't understand. That, 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 that carnal position, look, forget us. It's all about him. It's all about his will. Things happen. When things happen, it's a test. Them wanting to sleep with you or beat you up. Folks stealing from you or, or you feel uh, that um, things are not right, not fair, whatever it is. That's a test for you. It's a test for you. That ain't right. That ain't fair. And when that attitude come out, you need to change that. Or continue to prove you carnal. It's a fiery trial. It's a, fi it's a test. Trial, test. That's what that means. It's a test. It's a hot test. It's a hot test. Spouse not acting right. How are you going to respond? Tick for tack, it's a test. You ticking for tacking, you lacking. You're carnal. We, 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 we should be meditating this word day and night. And we should be hiding the word in our heart. We should be responding in love. We should be responding. We should be fasting and praying and seeking his face, crying out, because the days are super evil. We should be coming out of the world. We should be looking at the quality, the spiritual quality of things, people, places, and things. We should be looking at that like, I don't want to have nothing to do with that because it's not of Yah. We should be grabbing our families and, and entering to a spiritual Goshen. And Goshen is where Israel lived in Egypt when Yah was destroying Egypt. He was protecting his people. We should be coming out from among them and be separate. We should be 
We should love what y'all love and hate what y'all hate. And we should be separating ourselves from this place. And fiery trials is going to come to test the quality of your relationship with Yah. And they're going to be hot tests. And when people are carnal, they, they're, going, they're going to start bumping their gums and responding in wh whatever they are. An evil tree out of the uh, evil treasures of the heart is going to respond evil. And the good tree out of the, uh, the good treasure in them is going to respond good. The way Yah say, bottom line, think it not strange concerning the fiery trials. Carnal-minded people look at you got robbed or the way you was talked to or how what they said and what they did and I don't like them. And that, that's all carnal. That's all carnal. And to try to throw a scripture on top of that ain't going to help you none. It's all carnal. You throw a scripture on it, then you're religious. You're carnal and you're religious. But relationship is you pass the test. You ain't got no grudges. You ain't funny style. You give. You show up. You don't, you don't, carnal people like waste stuff from a carnal perspective. They're going to respond to Yah, to the things of Yah, to the people of Yah, based on carnal incidents. The Messiah did not respond carnally based on them saying crucify him. That had no effect on him. After he was completely good to them, they hollered and crucified him. His response was still spiritual. Forgive them for they know not what they do. He kept a yah at all times. And he's our perfect example. Stephen was a great uh, pupil of his because he did exactly the same thing. When he told the religious people the truth, they got so mad, they gnashed on him with their teeth and began to beat him to death with rocks. And he said, lay not this sin that they charge. He had the very same ruah that the Mashiach had. He was his disciple. That was a fiery trial. To love a people enough to tell them the truth, even though you knew the truth would cut them, but you can't lie to kick it. You're going to tell the truth. You're going to preach the truth. You're not trying to win fans and friends. You're making disciples. You're going to preach truth, even if it's unpopular going against the grain and the fiery trial was they turned to kill him. He became one of the martyrs that he told them they was doing. Your fathers killed the prophets and y'all turned around and killed the Mashiach. And then they said, well, we're going to turn around and kill you too. And he said, forgive them. Spiritual people are forgiving. Those are the same for real. And I'll use those terms strategically. Those are the same for real. Have a different spirit. It's not carnal. It's not this. It's not. They they flow with Yah. They walk in love. They do His will. They read. They pray. Well, what you doing today? It's Yahly. It's, it's not re recounting evil and grudge. Look. It, it, Bluff, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial. Do not think it's strange when stuff happens. Don't think it's strange. As though some strange things happen to you. As if something out of the ordinary is happening. Don't you know the word? Don't you know uh, his will concerning your life? But rejoice. Absolutely the opposite. You don't want to be carnal because you're not rejoicing. You mad. I'm sick of this. But rejoice in as much as you are partakers of the Mashiach suffering. Count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptation. You're able to celebrate. What are you celebrating for? Because you, you're, you're being tested and you're passing the test. Because fiery darts are coming at you to stop you doing what y'all called you to do and it, and it won't work. It's like water off a duck's back. What Satan is trying to do to derail you ain't working because greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. But rejoice in as much as you are partakers of the Mashiach suffering that when his glory shall, it ain't no if, buts, ands, or maybes about it. He win. He winning. And you go win with him. When his glory shall be revealed, period. 
You may be glad with exceeding joy. The may might be is on you being glad with exceeding joy based on what you do. Based on if you think it's not strange. I ain't got to put up with it. You giving? Now I ain't giving. Well, you used to. Uh-uh, you ain't going to treat me like that. <laughs> I hear you. You going now. Don't the scripture say, uh, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves, but you don't know what happened. Oh. Kill them, y'all. What they do? They said, crucify me after I fed them. And I preached to them. I loved them. I was good to them. They going to treat me like that? Kill them all. What about the volume of the book, Messiah? Forget that. Did you hear what they said? Well, he didn't do that. Well, I ain't Jesus. Words said, arm yourself for as much then as the Messiah has suffered for us in the flesh. Arm yourself likewise with the same mind for as much the equivalent. What do you say to that? Same tolerance and suffering that he was willing to endure for us, we're supposed to do for each other. Beloved, think it not strange. We're out of time, y'all. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trials, which is to test you. Why did it happen? Can somebody say it was a test? Can you say that? You got to be born again to say that. You got to be spiritual minded to say that. You got to be spiritual minded to see it. And you definitely got to be spiritual to be it. And then turn around and do the opposite of what the carnal minded people do. Rejoice. Yep. Shout about it. Celebrate. Praise him about it. But rejoice in as much as you are partakers of the Mashiach suffering. Some folks are so much filled with so much bitterness and hate that it stops them from doing what well, y'all called him to do because of grudge and hate and and they think it's yali too. They will convince themselves that some folks is so unyali that I gotta stay clear, even back up off y'all. When the Mashiach ran with Judas a day. Eerie. Is that a word? A day. A day. Yeah, a day offered him a biscuit at um, dinner, the last dinner before he betrayed him. He ran with him every day and loved on him. He took away any excuse that Judas had to turn on him. He didn't have an excuse. The problem was with Judah. It wasn't because the Messiah deemed him as a devil and started treating him like one. Yet that dude was a devil. But he didn't treat him like one. He treated him like he was at that time, a brother. And he loved on him and he taught him like he did everybody else. But rejoice in as much as you are partakers of the Mashiach suffering. Here we go again. We're being um, equated with the suffering of the Mashiach. And if you understand the suffering of the Mashiach in this scripture, was he was suffering for us, a people that turned on him. Can you still obey Yah? Or are you too carnal not to? But rejoice in as much as you are partakers of the Mashiach's suffering. You're partaking in his suffering. And the type of suffering that he went through was he did the will of Yah for people that rejected him. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to obey him, to become his children. Is that all right? 
Let's pray. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to glean in the truth of your word. A word that's tight but right according to your Ruach HaKadosh. Continue to reveal the sheep from the goat because you should know every tree by what they do. And we should obey you regardless of the fiery trials. It's just a test. Give us revelation as we celebrate in you. In the master's name of Yahushua HaMashiach, I will help me pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and all may. That was the lesson for the, uh, today, y'all. We pray that the word found you and that you got what you had coming out of the word. Um, the word has a way of revelation, revealing carnal from spiritual. That's what it do. So, if the word blessed you, and reveal more truth to you and you feel it can do the same for somebody else, feel free to push the share button so that it can do exactly that. Um, if you're a supporter of this ministry, I want to thank you for it. And if you'd like to become a financial supporter of this ministry, all you have to do is download the Cash App. Or, and if you already have it, just put in dollar sign Yahoo to Israel. That's dollar sign Y-A-H-U-D-A-H-Y-I-S-R-A-E-L. Again, dollar sign, Yahoo to Israel. Um, we're about to hop on the line and talk about this word. Um, those of you that have time, I know a lot of you guys um, work and do whatever you got to do. But um, we're about to hop on the line and talk about the word. If you want to join us, all you got to do is dial 302-202-1102, extension 815-648. Again, 302-202-1102, extension 815-648. Again, thanks for hanging out. Love each and every one of you. Y'all be Baruch and Baraka Shalom. I'm gone.